I'm uh, Jim Conflat, I'm the supervisor for District 1 till January 10th, and I will be officially retired. Jim, hang on a second. Come on in. Come on in. Come in from the outside here. Did you guys say the seats? Okay. Are we ready to go? Okay, sort of. We got, we got a lot of people here, a lot of good people. We're going to recognize some. If we miss you, stand up and say we miss you. Now, first, we've got uh, Supervisor Jim Steele. Yeah. Over here. We have Tribal Chairman Mo Simon over here. Royal candidate from District 1, Joey Lewis, representing Fiona Moff from the Board of Equalization. Tina Scott, Supervisor Elect, District 4. Donna Jones, Cal Fire, and John Arthur back. And we have several others here. I see that Rob Brown, Supervisor of District 5, is here. He's hiding in the back. And many, many others, and we have, um, we're gathered here because we have a little bit of changing of the guard and some of our state representatives, and we're real excited about that. We've had some very good representation. You know, there's a time when uh, um, <coughs> Lake County was not represented very well in Sacramento, and some of us might remember that. Well, that is not the case now at all. We have, they know... I don't know that there's anyone in that capital that does not know where Lake County is. <laughs> and if they don't, it would not be the fault of our two, our current state senator and our assemblyman. They, they have worked tirelessly on our behalf, and we are very, very, very grateful for that. We weren't grateful for some of the reasons why they got to know us so well, but we tremendously appreciate their support. We have another, is that, oh, we have Monica Rosenthal, candidate for one. And so we're going to make this short and sweet. I could stand up there and make a speech all day, and that's not going to be important at all. We want to recognize Senator Mike McGuire. See you stand up. Come, come up here. All right, who did I miss? For us. Forrest Brumfield, <laughs> all over Lake County, and we love it. I happen to have had the pleasure of knowing Boris. She's what, only what, 39 years old? So I probably got to know her when she was about two then. <laughs> Been very, very active in things in Lake County and Middletown, and we really, really appreciate Boris and all that she does. Yes, we do. <laughs> Batteries everyone down, Mark? Nah. nah. <laughs> no, they don't. So, who's going to want to come and speak first? Bill, come on up. Take Senator. Bill, 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 Okay, here's this guy who wants to run our office. What's he going to do for us? Well, I've got a cousin named Scooter Clark in Wooden Valley. Scooter, I, so I talked to Scooter, and he said, Bill Dodd's a good guy. And if Scooter Clark tells you Bill Dodd's a good guy, you can take it to the bank. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You know, this is not the first time I've been in this room, um, and hopefully it won't, won't be the last. Let me tell you, uh, the only downside for me in this uh, Senate race that I've been you know, working on and was successful at is not continuing to have Lake County within the district uh, that, that I will uh, represent. But I can assure you, and your Senator Mike McGuire and I uh, have had uh, an incredible run together getting things done for um, Lake County. And, uh, you know, it, this is not all about telling you what we've done for you or anything tonight, but let's, let me tell you, I couldn't have a better partner uh, anywhere as a senator. Uh, Mike's only in a real small area where he's a senator, and I've been the assembly member, but together uh, we have gotten so much done 
and his, uh, there's more energy in that guy. Uh, we got to bottle this somehow uh, for the rest of the legislature, but I commit, uh, I've committed to him and I'll, I commit to you that uh, you will have two senators up there uh, as far as votes are concerned, and that matters. And as far as helping, uh, hopefully on the budget committee, that's something I'm looking uh, you know, to get on. Uh, and I think it's important for Lake County that we continue to get the funding uh, for, we can't forget the fires, right? Because those were so, uh, you know, unbelievable in terms of what funding is, is needed just to take care, uh, you know, of, of all that moving forward. And I'm committed to uh, continuing on that track uh, with the Senator. But even before the fires, the need for this lake, uh, the environmental uh, work that needs to be done, and to saddle that on 65,000 residents in Lake County uh, is, is, is just not only not fair, it's not right. But let me tell you, it's been amazing for me to come to Lake County and learn for the very uh, uh, first time the women in ag, I had spent uh, the better part of the year, once a month coming up here to go through uh, their programs. Do I have the, the name of it exactly right, Tony? Ag Venture. Ag Venture. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was absolutely incredible, uh, you know, right off the, the bat to get to know so many people through the county and so many of the issues. But even more than that, when I've been to Matthew, I'm telling you, I, I've been, I was a county supervisor for 14 years. I've been on the job here a couple years. Uh, so I've been to a lot of public meetings, a lot of public meetings. And I was so blown away when I came to the meeting in here the couple times I was here. And I was scratching my head. I've never seen a group of people that had so many opinions, and most of them weren't in agreement. <laughs> but what we don't see in our country enough, and we don't see throughout many parts of our state enough, is when people disagree, they're okay with each other. They love each other, they live in the community, and they work together as a community. And that is the one thing my takeaway for Lake, from Lake County is, and from this area is, is how important the area is, and no matter how divisive the issues are, at the end of the day, we can agree about how much we love Lake County and how much we love our community and that we're all united in the effort to do the best job that we can. So I'm gonna applaud you for that. And thank you so very much for giving me that lesson that that can happen uh, in, in, our, in any county and it can happen in the state and it can happen in our country, and I look at you uh, as a model for other counties on how to behave and how to leave a room uh, better than when you came into the room. So thank you for that. Um, it's been um, really a labor of love. Uh, the people that I've met, uh, the issues that we faced up here through lots of uh, adversity, uh, I'll tell you, it's been phenomenal in many regards to see a legislature that here before hadn't done much for this area. And Mike and I, the Senator and I, saw that uh, from day one. And that caused us to say, you know, the Senate and the Assembly said, we've never worked together, have never had an office together ever in the history of the Assembly and, and, and the Senate. Well, we said, we're going to do it. You, you know, we've got to find a way to get it done. And we did. We had the first in a long, long time you know, office here. I've talked to Cecilia. I know she's going to uh, work together with Mike. And let me just tell you about who we're who it, we are leaving because she got elected to my seat, and I'm telling you, I've known Cecilia a long time, and uh, she's honest. You've already voted for it, so you know all this stuff. But she's loyal, and she's a problem solver, and she cares. And I'm telling you, those are the attributes that I think from public officials, and I've seen that by the way in all your county supervisors. And frankly, a lot of your candidates uh, that have been running, most of them that I've ever met from up here. And everybody works hard. But I'm telling you, she's a hard worker, and she'll get the job done for you. And my commitment to each and every one of you is that I will work both with uh, uh, the assembly member elect and the senator uh, with them in concert for whatever they want to do for Lake County. Thank you very much for the opportunity you, to serve you. Thank you.
Mike. Who's going to be next? Mike? Well, Senator Mike McGuire is going to run up here. <laughs> now, when he first, like, how are you? When he first contacted us about running, okay, he's from Sonoma County. <laughs> Does he know or care about Lake County? First impression was no. <laughs> he certainly proved that he really cares about Lake County. Do you spend more time here than you do in Sonoma County? Uh, hey, that's what I'm saying. I, I, think, I think so. I think so. We got to know him pretty well. I'm going to tell you a quick thing. We had, we had some fires last year and this year. Now, um, Rocky Fire, basically District 1, a little bit of District 2. Jerusalem Fire, all District 1. Valley Fire, half and half, District 1, District 5. Clayton Fire, all District 1. Okay, I'm retiring. There'll be no more fires in District 1. Mike, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's give it up for Supervisor Constantine. Come on. Truly, I want to say thank you to the Supervisor for his incredible commitment to Lake County for now several generations with the family as well. So thank you so much, and you are going to be dearly missed, sir. Well, I'm not really going anywhere. I know. <laughs> I'm not be sitting up there anymore. I can holler at all of them. Yes, yes, exactly. I just want to say thank you. And thank you, Mike. Wonderful partner. I also want to uh, introduce our unit chief for CAL FIRE, uh, Chief Jones. Um, I'm going to have her stand for a second. Uh, this is the individual who has been helping to lead the effort when it came to both the, the Valley as well as the Clayton. I think we need to give her and the CAL FIRE team a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kaminsky, uh, he is on my list forever. You talk about an angel. Uh, he is one that has stood strong through some of our darkest times and cannot say thank you enough to you, to your board, and to the district. We could not have done this without you. Mr. Kaminsky, we need to give him a round of applause. <laughs> I want to recognize and thank uh, Supervisor Steele as well uh, for all of your work and uh, of course to the rock of all recovery uh, with Supervisor <coughs> Brown right here and uh, thank you so much Supervisor Brown. <laughs> so if it works for folks, just want to say a few words uh, about uh, Mr. Dodd and then how excited I am to be able to work with Cecilia and I think you're going to love to be able to work with the Assemblywoman. Um, so, uh, Mr. Dodd and I knew each other, uh, but we didn't know each other really well prior to getting into the assembly in the Senate. And I got to tell you, there is no one that I would want to work with more than Bill Dodd. Uh, he is loyal, he is hardworking. When he gives you his word, he keeps it, even when the pressure is on. Uh, and what I really appreciate about Bill Dodd is that in probably our greatest time in need here in Lake County, when it came to the Valley Fire, and then next, who would have thought that we'd be talking about the Clayton Fire? Bill Dodd stepped up and stepped up big time. Not only was he there uh, during the initial hours of both disasters, he has stood strong all the way throughout. If uh, you are in a dark alley, and you have a group of folks coming up to you, you want Bill Dodd by your side. Uh, truly. Uh, and I just want to say, Bill, no smoke, uh, how grateful I am to be able to work with you. Uh, because there are, if we can just be candid, there are very few times in life where you find somebody who is going to have your back and have your back 100%. And that is Bill Dodd. And even though he is not going to be representing us directly, <clears throat> we will have a champion for the County of Lake for the rest of his career. Um, and he has led by example. When he saw some of the issues with water quality in Clear Lake, he stepped up to help with funding. When he saw the residents of Lucerne who have been so challenged with high water rates, he stepped up yet again with rate relief bill last year, which has now been signed by the governor. I think we need to give him a round of applause. <laughs> And he saw that there were businesses uh, in Middletown and throughout the Valley Fire Burn Zone that needed tax relief. Yet again, working with Fiona Mall, stepped up, and Bill Dodd was there making sure that we had tax relief for local businesses 
after this devastating fire. Uh, and what we know is there's a, there's a lot of work to do. And what we know is that it's going to take all of us working together into the months and years to come to make sure that Lake County needs the resources, not just now, but in the future, to be able to thrive. And have made this commitment and promise before, and we'll make it again today because we have Bill Dodd and Cecilia Aguilar Curry here tonight. We are there for you now and into the future. We are not going to let Lake County down. And I think we've all talked about this. Lake County has been underserved by this state for too long. No more. And that stopped two years ago. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do coming up. Uh, we are moving forward on the wastewater uh, collection system in Anderson Springs. Yes. So now we'll have 350 lots that will be covered by wastewater that will then flow into Middletown. That $7.5 million has been secured. It is moving forward and the Board of Supervisors, uh, in fact, are going to be talking about it tomorrow yet again. The engineering and environmental reports are currently moving forward. We hope to break down break ground in 2017 and that will be uh, uh, just a fantastic occasion for all of us to be able to celebrate. 5.25 million has been secured for 60 to 80 homes that will be built uh, in both the Valley Fire and the Clayton Fire burn zones. That money has been secured and is there and we're going to be advancing those homes starting in 2017. In fact, the request for proposal by the state of California is out on the street right now. Uh, and we're going to have to continue to move forward and working together. We don't want to just recover here in Lake County. We want to build back stronger than ever. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to do that. And we're going to do that with the help of the Assemblywoman as well. Uh, and the Assemblywoman, from the very beginning, has been committed to this county. And in fact, she has been here so often, I think she's going to need to get in the mailbox, uh, which I love. Um, and look, she comes from a background that many of us are familiar with. Um, she got her work ethic working in the walnut orchards uh, and farming apricots as well in winters. She's from a small town. She's a small town mayor. And her work ethic is unmatched. Let's talk about it for a second. Uh, they, she and her family own a 50-acre walnut farm uh, in Winters, and that's how she grew up. She grew up getting dirty in the orchards and learned that if she is not going to speak up, no one else would do it for her. And for the town of Winters, she has been able to be that rock and that center of that city council to be able to lead them into prosperity. She is an expert on water policy. She knows that we need to be able to connect the County of Lake and the rest of our district with high-speed internet and broadband. She is a champion. I want to say thank you. We need to give her a round of applause for that. <laughs> she knows affordable housing and as a small businesswoman herself, she is going to be a champion to help us here in Lake County bring good jobs to our communities. And I could not be more pleased that she's going to be our next silly woman. And i got to tell you, she really kicked tail in this election. <laughs> uh, and I just want to say how grateful we are. And not only that, uh, in a year where the legislature actually saw fewer women elected, Cecilia Aguilar Curry is the difference. She was elected and she's elected with a mandate. And Lake County helped put her over the top. So ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I think it's time to bring up our next assembly. Let's give it up to Cecilia. Whoa, let's go guys. Let's do. So as they said, I am committed to Lake County and I did it from day one. Um, being from a small community, it is so difficult to get funding, it's so difficult to get your name recognition, it's so difficult to get your projects done. I'm committed to Lake County, and as I, many people know, I've been here a lot. And the reason is, is that I wanted to make sure I understood the community. You know, I can understand Yellow County and Solano and other counties, but this one was a big, big um, target for me that I wanted to make sure I knew about. 
So whether it's from agriculture, it's water, it's housing, it's transportation, it's mental health issues, I feel like I have a really good grasp, but I have a lot more to learn. I'm going to ask you, all of you in this room, to help me with that. There's issues that we have not talked about, and there's issues that you've had to deal with, the fires. And i got to say to your community, you've done a great job trying to get everybody back together. And I want to help make that continue and make sure that we get housing for people and that we get um, social services up here that are even stronger. But I'm so committed to you. Um, <clears throat> I want to tell you is that we're looking to open an office in downtown Lakeport. And that office is hopefully is going to be at a small uh, place right across from the county seat. And it will have myself, assembly member myself, uh, Senator McGuire, uh, Fiona Ma, and hopefully Congressman uh, Thompson will have that office manned so we can deal and help the community. We want to make sure that we're visible for you so that you know that we have your back. Um, also, I would like to introduce them, if you please come up, is Tracy and um, Carly. <coughs> My, uh, my uh, chief of staff was unable to come today because I want you to know the faces of the people that will be working for me and working with me and working with you. So this is Tracy Crumpen and Tracy I'd like you just to introduce yourself just briefly and tell me what, what we're doing up here. Sure, uh, Tracy Crumpen will be the district director for uh, the assembly member. Really looking forward to working with all of Lake County. It was just so great when I came here tonight that I actually saw some uh, dear friends I hadn't seen in years, so that just really warmed my heart. Really look forward to uh, working with Senator McGuire and Senator Elect Dodd. Uh, it's great knowing that Senator Dodd, even though he won't officially be representing Lake County, that he will always have our back. Uh, and all I can say is we're going to have an awesome stellar team. So really looking forward to just getting in there, getting the work done for Lake County. And this is This is Carly Ravellis, my scheduler, and Carly, would you like to say a few words? Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you for <laughs> entertaining us tonight. Um, my name is Carly. I'm also a small town girl. I'm from Woodland in Yolo County, if any of you know. Um, neighbors to winners, actually. I'll be Cecilia's scheduler, so if you need to get a hold of Cecilia, you to talk to me. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, and nothing really. I'm learning, and I am thankful for this opportunity. And if you're all patient with me, I hope to deliver. <laughs> well, the important one of the things about Carly is that she came on board with me in June, and she went on every single call with me. She did 1,200 miles with me a week. And the importance of that is a lot of people don't realize how big this district is, right? And so now she knows that if she's scheduling me in Lakeport, that I probably can't be in Clarksburg in an hour. <laughs> so I know she, we've got that settled, and that was a really important part. But I want to talk a little bit about Bill Dodd, um, because um, Bill has been, um, for the city of Winters and for many small communities, I think you'll know, is that he's always been there for you. And for Winters is that we went for years and years, and we we're only 35 miles from the Capitol. We didn't always see our legislators ever come to Winters. And it's not because they probably didn't want it, but uh, just of the timing and meetings and things. But this guy right here called my city manager at least once a month. And do you know what that means to a city manager is to have that one phone call? It might have been just, just social go gossip from the community, or to help me with Chrome 6, or to help me with other issues in the community. And that's what I think is a wonderful assembly person, uh, assembly member. And I want to make sure that I fill his shoes. I'm not here to, um, uh, I'm honest, I'm going to tell you how it is, and Bill did that for me as well. And I want to thank you, Bill, for everything you have done for the city of Winders. Um, my city council couldn't be prouder that, that you're going to be representing us, representing us in the sen uh, as a senator. We'll do great things together, and I look, to, I, look, um, I look forward to collaborating with you and Mike McGuire and all of us that are in the uh, assembly and the legislature. Um, and then lastly, I want to thank all of you, because I have got some wonderful friendships in this room. And again, I was I mentioned the Ag Ventures group. Um, I belong to that, and the California Women in Agriculture, I can't remember the whole thing. But they opened their arms, and they introduced me to people that I would have never met. And they're leaders in the community, and they want to um, help other leaders grow within the community. 
but I learned more about the area through them and being able to meet from the sheriff was in my class and the community direct the community development person and the farm bureau was there but I met a lot of people and um, I just want to say you are the friendliest county that I have <laughs> <laughs> And I look forward to every moment, and I can't wait to get started. I, uh, there's a couple of projects we've been talking about, of course. Uh, I was calling it, let's make Clear Lake Blue. But someone yeah. said today, let's just call it Make Clear Lake Clear. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I've also made some contacts on uh, with the Chancellor at um, UC Davis, and maybe working with Loyola Marymount, maybe do a, a biology studies classes over there with us, uh, in conjunction with them. Um, so there's a lot of little projects, um, and I look forward to working with all of you. And again, um, Bill, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you taught me a lot, and I can't wait to work with you and Mike, so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, I would like to introduce uh, Supervisor Brown, and I guess you have something with for us this evening. Well, I kind of got tricked into coming down here. I thought I was coming to a Bernie Sanders rally. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally tricked me. It's okay. Um, when I first started on the school board about 24 years ago, um, there was a, I met a congressman or a senator by the name of Mike Thompson, and uh, he was amazing. Uh, it was just such a so nice to be able to have somebody and his aide, Brad Honorado, who I also met at the time, to answer the calls and, and all that. And then he went off to Congress, and that all ended for years and years and years. It was a drought of representation. And um, and I know how large the district is, so I never you know, I don't mean any disrespect, because I know it's tough for all those folks that were uh, representing us, and I know you know they were spread out too. So I, I, you know, not in all fairness to them, I know there were there were a lot of things going on. But then, um, then the fires happened, and uh, I'm not much into state politics and, and all that, but when the elections were rolling around that Jim talked about, you know, I had, had candidates, a uh, candidate by the name of Mike McGuire, one named Bill Dodd, calling me up, and I wasn't answering their calls. He was going to get involved in that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't hold it against me. <laughs> but I so much appreciate that. I, I swear I... I just feel like um, over the last course of time, including you know many of the folks from, from Lake County, it's amazing how Jim and I and, and all of us have lived here so many years, all of our lives, how many people we don't know. But we sure met a lot of people throughout those, and, and they seem like family. And, uh, and, and I can say that about, about Mike and Bill, how you guys have been like family to me, and I appreciate that. Um, Mike's kind of my crazy uncle. But, <laughs> but but we all have one. If you don't have one, then that, that means you're it. <laughs> so, so anyway, I just I, I think the world of these guys. And I, I, I I say this, and, but I would take a poll through the lot of them because of what they've done for our community, what they've done for for us as as a family, and I, it means so much to us because we can't we absolutely cannot do it on our own. So, um, and I appreciate Cecilia so much. We're working. You know, with you, I just appreciate that opportunity so much. And you know, when you say that Lake County is the friendliest county, now that 64 has passed, we're going to be the happiest county. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us secondhand. But, yeah, it will work out. So, uh, Bill, could you come up, please? I just want to offer this proclamation on behalf of the board of supervisors. Um, Whereas Bill Dodd is a fifth generation Californian and lifelong resident of District 4, having grown up on a small family farm in Napa County and was elected in November 2014 to represent California's 4th Assembly District. And whereas Bill served on the Napa County Board of Supervisors from 2001 to 2014 and amongst his many accomplishments was the successful completion of Napa's flood control project which protected protects thousands of properties from flooding, restoring 900 acres of environmental wetlands and producing $1 billion in investment in local businesses. Whereas Bill led state efforts to combine funding and resources to support restoration of Clear Lake wetlands, maintain water, uh, water quality and wildlife conservation. And whereas Bill worked instrumentally with Senator McGuire to bring state agencies together to secure $7.5 million for a new sewer system 
plan for the Anderson Springs community. And whereas Bill urged the passage of AB 1559 to provide tax relief to Valley Fire impact businesses by allowing them to defer tax payments without additional costs. And whereas Bill passed a new law to help local governments across the state strengthen their economic development powers enabling cities and counties to offer loans to owners or tenants for rehabilitation of commercial buildings in order to create economic opportunities through the purchase, sale, or lease of the properties. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the Lake County Board of Supervisors is hereby commend Bill Dodd for his unremitting assistance to Lake County constituents, local elected officials, and community leaders, connecting them with state resources and agencies, and extends our appreciation for his dedication and hard work towards the betterment of Lake County, and wish him well in his role as newly elected state senator. <laughs> I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, introduce my staff. Tom, you want to raise your hand? Yeah. Tom Barty, uh, uh, Veronica, Bethel Parker, oh, raise your hand. Tom. Logan, who's been my guy up here in, in Lake County, doing a great job for the team. <laughs> and John Moreno, who's right up here in the front. Thank you very much. And you know, this is one of the things that uh, you can't do all the stuff that uh, you heard about here without not only partners, Mike, but you have to have good staff behind you every single day that's going behind with staff, not only of other members, but other committee members and, uh, you know, different departments. So thank you all very much for the opportunity to serve you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to the Board of Supervisors. I'll tell you, that is something, you know, as a former supervisor for 14 years, I really get, and you have a great board here, and mm -hmm. we'll continue to have a great board. Thank you to the board members. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for coming out here tonight, and I'm going to tell a little story on Cecilia. Uh -oh. <laughs> Actually, when she came, I, I didn't know Cecilia. I knew a lot about her when she came one night. She said she brought greetings from some of my lifelong friends over in Winters. Joe Ogando and Karen Ogando. Karen Ogando was uh, Don Emerson's daughter from up on Cloud Mountain. If Joe Ogando likes something, that's not easy to get. <laughs> and he voted for me. He's a, he's a, very, <laughs> he's a very outspoken um, young man, a very opinionated, and if he supports Cecilia, she's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to, Mike, Bill, and Cecilia, thank you. I'm going to give you a round of applause. <laughs> and thank all of you for being here tonight. We want to recognize Cal Fire and South Lake Fire one more yeah. time. Formal and have something to eat, socialize, and have the time. Thank you. Right. Take some food home to me. We got lots of food. I'll do that. <laughs>